Good morning guys, welcome back. My name is Rachel and I'm so glad you're here. Today is Wednesday. I'm wearing this cute little plaid shirt from Zara, but it's really old and my high-waisted Banana Republic pants. I actually did a Banana Republic haul in my last video, so check that out. I'm gonna go to work today and it's going to be a good couple of days. I'm completely out of bagels, so we're being super healthy today. I'm taking a Chobani Greek yogurt with strawberry and then some diced strawberries. I know, so healthy, so unlike me, but it's what we have, so <laughs> I don't really have a choice. AJ's outside painting again. I explained it in my last video, but we're painting the outside of our house and we've been having trouble picking a color. So we've been painting samples, painting samples, and I think this is finally the one that we're going to choose. So I'll show you guys that later. But I have some time, so I'm going to open this. Oh my gosh, yay! Okay, so I ordered a new front door lock because when we when he was pressure cleaning the outside of the house, water got on the lock that we have now. It's like an electronic lock. This one right here, and it stopped working. This one, which is a little bit more high tech, it's actually a deadbolt inside, and that one is not a deadbolt. And then to go along with it, because this doesn't come with a handle, I just ordered a sludge brand handle and it's like one of these fancy ones and it's gonna be so cool yeah i'm excited for the outside of our house to look good because for the past two years it's looked exactly how it looked when we bought it which was blue i hate loud cars that is so annoying i always forget to get gas i always tell myself i'm gonna get it the next morning i'm gonna leave early for work and i'm gonna get my gas and be on time but i always forget so now i'm gonna be three to five minutes late and that stresses me out because i don't like being late even though there's no like it's not a big deal but can you guys relate do you ever tell yourself you're gonna get gas early in the morning and then you don't Okay, it's my lunch break and I came home really quickly just to see the color of the paint outside in a different light because it looks different in the morning versus at noon versus in the afternoon. So that's what I did. And I also saw that we got our mailbox in just from Amazon. I think it's so cute. So we're doing black accents and we ordered black house numbers and our doorknob is obviously going to be black. So let me show you the paint color. It's like a grayish, like a taupey color. I don't know, it's hard to see, but I really like it. I think it contrasts well with the white. I think it'll look good with black accents. I didn't want to do a gray color because I feel like on the inside of the house, we already have a lot of gray, so I was going for more of a taupe. It's kind of like the color of this blanket. It's not brown, but it's not gray. Kind of like the color of this carpet. Me trying to explain colors to you. AJ's been painting in the mornings and the afternoons before and after he works. So that's what's going on and I have to run back to work because when you go home for lunch, it's like it goes by like this because you have the commute time and you're only home for like 20 minutes. See you later. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is Thursday. I just finished editing an entire video. I woke up at like 4.30 and I couldn't sleep so I was like, I'm just gonna get up and be productive but I know I'm gonna be exhausted at like 9 o'clock at work so that's what happens when you wake up early. Hi. Hi baby. Hi baby. Hi baby. Okay, I'm all dressed up and look how professional I look, you guys. This blazer is from Banana Republic Factory Online. I'll link it, of course, but I'm freaking obsessed. Normally, I just wear the same cardigan every single day and I just leave it at my desk, but I don't know. I decided to mix it up and get like a nice jacket that I could wear to work and also just going out with jeans. I'm just wearing a tighter black shirt. It's actually cropped, so I'm gonna have to be careful and make sure that I don't show my stomach at work, but I have my high-waisted J. Crew pants. Last night we 
I painted for like two hours after work and it was so therapeutic for me. I actually really enjoy painting. Any kind of painting project, I love it. I just, it's like a stress reliever. We And then we ordered Chili's for delivery, which was very naughty of us, but it was such a good treat because I've been eating really well lately, in my opinion. I know that if I just keep restricting, then I'll end up just wanting more and more, so I don't feel bad at all. Last night was actually so good and so fun, like painting and then eating, and then we watched Survivor. It was just a good night. And yeah, one more look at my outfit today. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the more professional vibe? Or do you like my more casual looks? I think there's a time and place for everything. Obviously, I'm not gonna dress like this every day, but I just think sometimes it gives me a little bit more motivation to do well at work when I look like a superstar. Good morning, Vinny. You were very mean to me earlier. You were. You were. Come here. You have food. You have food. Remind me at 8 a.m. to get. Okay. Yes. What are you doing today? Doing a haircut. I have paint my hair. I have to clean the east wall. Tomorrow morning I prime it. Tomorrow evening I paint it. Okay, I just went to Starbucks for my lunch break and I got a tall iced coffee with oat milk, two pumps of pumpkin sauce, and I said extra ice, but they gave me no ice. So I was like, can I have some ice? <laughs> I don't really like it. First of all, I asked for hazelnut syrup or yeah, and they said they don't have it anymore. I'm sorry, what? That's like a staple and it's the go-to flavor for millions and millions of people, so I don't understand. I hope it's just this store because that will be very upsetting. I'm not a fan of this, but I feel bad asking for something else. So I also got ham and Swiss panini. That'll be my lunch today. I am so tired since I woke up so early, so that's why I'm treating myself, even though this sucks. Okay, I'm back. Today's colors are blue and yellow. I'm using a blue felt tip and a yellow highlighter. And I have all of these colors to choose from. I just made this yesterday, so I always like to choose new colors when I start a new to-do list. As you can see, previously I was green on green. Then I was orange on orange. Then I was purple on green, pink on blue. So as you can see, this really brings me joy. I highly encourage you guys to invest in these felt tips. I'll link some below, but they're so cheap and they just make work a little bit more fun. You know what I mean? So that's the vibe today. I already finished two things. This is my to-do to -do list for like the next week or so. And then I just add to it. I already ate my sandwich on the way here in the car. I couldn't wait, I was so hungry and I got a lot of compliments on my blazer already. I think four people already said, ooh, you look good today. So, just saying. Okay, I'm, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm home from work. AJ's cooking up a storm. And I wanna show you guys my new backpack. We are having HelloFresh again tonight, surprise. Okay, so I ordered this backpack from Amazon. It's a travel backpack and it fits a 15 inch laptop, which is the main reason that I wanted it, obviously for travel. So back here, it has a compartment for your laptop and it's padded and it's skinny. You have a bigger pocket in the middle and it has like dividers in here. Then you have a smaller pocket in the front for like gadgets and then you have an even smaller pocket all the way at the front. Let me model it for you. This is what it looks like. It was only, let me check. It was only $59, which is a little bit expensive, but for a travel backpack that fits a laptop comfortably, that's really good. And it's by the brand Kenneth Cole, which is also a good brand. And I just think that this is a good travel piece. I'm most likely gonna fill the middle one with clothes. Let me put my glasses on so I look a little cuter. When we go to Italy, we are only bringing one backpack and one carry-on each, so. <laughs> It is gonna be chilly there, so like the clothes that I'm packing are gonna be a little bit more thick. So I'm gonna utilize the backpack to its fullest potential. I'll link it for you guys. I've been searching all through Amazon on 
the best travel backpack. Hi. I also ordered a bunch of these European plug adapters. Slowly but surely, we're getting ready for the trip. So it's Thursday today, and this weekend is the last weekend that I have before the trip, and AJ's actually gonna be out of town. He's going to the Mr. <laughs> He's going to the Mr. Olympia fitness competition, which is so cool. So you lied to me? Anyways, anyways. So basically this weekend, I have to do a whole travel prep pack and I'm gonna be filming a whole video on that. So I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, gross. Look at this little balsamic vinegar they give you. How cute is that? Okay, I also got this book I completely forgot. It's called The Empowered Wife by Laura Doyle and she is a very popular relationship coach. I'm personally a fan of reading self-help books whether you need the help or not. I think it's so good to constantly be learning and trying to grow ourselves. So I just started the first couple pages last night so I'll let you know if it's good before I actually recommend it. But I think that's all for now, folks. Okay, so you may be wondering, Rachel, what the heck? Don't you have an espresso machine that works just fine? The answer to that is no. This machine pisses me off every single morning because I put the pot in every day. I make sure there's water. I make sure that it's empty. Ah, Vinny. And it takes me like three pods a day for the coffee to actually run like it'll just run water even though there's a pot in there and it's the most frustrating thing i've ever experienced i'm tired of it i decided to get the real one and i could not be happier this one's like the legit full size one nespresso makes two kinds of machines this is the original type of pod for the smaller machines so these are the full size pods versus these tiny little ones so i'm so excited another thing with the smaller pods is that they don't make a full size cup of coffee like technically the machine says it can do it but the pod itself is not capable so with these ones i have the option to make even 12 ounce coffees which is insane that's like this much coffee i also rearranged the layout so before this coffee machine was right here but I think I'm gonna put the Nespresso in the corner right here and then kind of hide it with the wood so that when you see it from like a distance, I think it looks better than right here on the front. Am I the only one that looks at things from far away? Like I'd rather see the block of wood than the Nespresso machine right there or like the side of the machine. So I think this looks good. I'm like out of breath because I'm so excited. <laughs> my brother has this machine, so I'm gonna give him my extra pods. That way they don't go to waste, but I think I actually planned it out perfectly. I have no pods left except for the ones in this jar, so. Good morning, happy Friday. I'm wearing my most iconic H&M shirt and my Abercrombie mom jeans, Target belt, and I decided to do a low ponytail. I always feel like a low pony looks good whenever I wear this shirt. Yay, it's Friday. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? What is up, my friend? Long time no see. Okay, I'm completely out of bagels as I mentioned earlier and I think I'm gonna take this daily harvest oatmeal to work and like heat it up in the work microwave with just water. Um, I do have a discount link and code if you guys ever want daily harvest. They send you like frozen, vegan, healthy, super good foods. Actually, let me show you. I keep them all up here. This is a flatbread oatmeal and then they have harvest bowls. So this is basically like a side dish and you just add your protein and they have ice creams. I had this one last night and it was so good. It tastes like fudge, but it's super healthy. They have like little bites, frozen bites, mint and cacao smoothie. They have so many good things. So I'll leave a link in case you guys are interested. What? It is outside painting again. It's actually so easy to paint. So I would recommend if you're doing any kind of painting project, even if you've never painted before, it's super like intuitive. Anyone can do it. So I recommend giving it a shot yourself before hiring it out because you'll save literally $1,500 to $2,000 for a house like this. That's how much they charge you just for the labor to paint. The paint itself 
costed us the paint and primer for a 1500 square foot house costed us less than a thousand dollars so and it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be perfect right Vinny? nobody cares been what okay okay that wall right there used to be blue and it would reflect blue light into the house and make it look so weird so now it's like a taupey color floor here is still blue so that's still reflecting but once we paint the floor i haven't decided ow <laughs> i was pointing to the floor i don't know if we're gonna paint oh my gosh everybody's in my way ow Vinny. cool Back off! Seriously, dude. I don't know if we're gonna paint that floor the same color as the house, paint it white, paint it black. I have no idea. Vinny, you're stressing me out. You cut me. Alrighty, it's lunchtime. Today we got a Chick fil A sandwich and some fruit on the side. The whole office ordered Chick fil A today, so like one person went out and got it for everybody because it's kind of far that's why i don't really eat chick-fil-a often but i'm so excited to eat this also it just so happens that the project we're working on gave me a list of all the change orders they need by okay i was very rudely interrupted before <laughs> someone came in as i was filming thank god i had the camera like tucked away at the bottom by the time they like saw me but as I was saying, the project has decided that they need all of the change orders in by basically two weeks from now, but the kicker is that I'm leaving in one week. So I have to make sure that I get everything done before we leave on our trip. And so today was super stressful just trying to work as fast as I humanly can to get these things done. I think I'll be able to do it. So I'm not too worried, but this happened to me last year too, the same exact thing. And it had, to end up working. But anyways, I'm gonna do a quick workout, literally just like a 15 minute leg pump. I have, oh gosh, I have so much stuff to do today and this weekend. Since we're going away, I'm trying to pre-film a lot of videos so that you guys have videos to watch while I'm not here. So I have to edit like two videos tonight, but I still really wanna get a workout in. And then tomorrow morning I have my hair appointment. I'm getting my highlights touched up and that takes like three hours. And then tomorrow night I have a birthday party for my aunt, but I'm helping set up. So it's gonna be like tomorrow's booked. And then Sunday is going to be all day prepping for the trip, packing, buying things, and all of that. And then I work Monday through Friday, and we leave Friday night. Right at, Like, I have to leave work a little bit early, I think maybe 30 minutes early. Yeah, it's going to be a crazy week and weekend, but I'm so excited, and it'll all be worth it. Okay, I just finished my workout, and I just got the best package ever. You guys won't believe it, but I'm working with Ori later on, and... That is like a dream to me. You guys know my wedding band is from them. I'm just so excited. So I picked out this ring here, which is the bigger size of the one that I already have. And I'm gonna wear this one on my index finger. I put my wedding ring on. So this is my setup. This is from Etsy. It's a moissanite. I'll have it linked below because I always get questions on it and it's my favorite. It was only a couple hundred bucks. And then the band is Orate, and then this is the full size band. And then I also picked out these cute earrings. I'm so excited, and they come in like these cute little green pouches. I, this video is not even sponsored, but I'm just so excited. Oh my gosh, these are so stinking cute. I just wanted like a pair of nicer earrings that I could wear to the opera. I'm just kidding. Somewhere like fancy and I feel like these are so elegant. So anyways, I just am so excited. AJ's leaving me tomorrow. He's going out of town and he's leaving me here by myself. So rude. So yeah, I'm gonna be alone for like two days. I know, I'm gonna actually be really busy. Have I ever been alone in this house? No. So this will be my first time. I think if I was alone, I would be scared, but since I have Vinny, I feel better. I enjoy another creature. I feel like she'll alert me if something's up. I got a pimple. 
I'm pretty sure it's from the Chili's. But I got a question on Instagram. Someone asked, how do you feel as a Christian about like modesty? Excuse me. About modesty and do I feel like I have to be really careful about modesty and how I act since I am a Christian and I am online and I have a presence and I would say absolutely 100% it's really hard sometimes to do the right thing just like I'm sure you guys know in any situation you have temptations to take the easy way out and especially as a woman trying to like make a brand for myself it's really tempting sometimes to be a little bit more revealing and just do what the crowds are doing and because that gets more clicks that gets more views yes the answer to the question is it's really hard I feel like that's a common struggle if you're someone who tries to be a little bit more modest than what society deems acceptable we all have our different Different levels of what is acceptable and what is not acceptable so someone may not be comfortable showing their arms or their ankles I know in some cultures that's not acceptable so what's modest for me may not be modest for you or vice versa and that's fine it's just you know in your heart what's too far for you and as long as you're staying true to yourself that is what's most important yeah it can be tempting not just modesty wise but any type of struggle I feel like this applies to like trying to do clickbait or even in business you have opportunities to be shady and put money from here to there and do things you shouldn't be doing so it applies to every single aspect of life but i feel like the more that we can stay true to ourselves happier we'll be with ourselves and the less we will have that self-hatred and hatred is a strong word but i feel like we all deal with that to a certain extent thinking we're not good enough thinking that we don't deserve it imposter syndrome so i think the best way to minimize that is to just truly stick to your guts stick to your guts <laughs> follow your gut follow your instinct be true to yourself and if you do that you will succeed so those are my words of wisdom for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you made it this far comment your favorite animal emoji just so i know that you're the real mvp bye 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 <laughs>